Harris. Today we go to Chanel, Jenny from Blackpink, Stromae, Charlotte Kaziragi, Naomi, Virginie Viard, Mahana Perry, Franz Summers, Irina Sheik, Amanda Sanchez, Rian and Loli, Aiken, Jill and Adout. So exciting, you know. Mademoiselle Jenny from Blackpink is invited. She's an official ambassador of the house. It felt like a movie. The theme is cinema. Le thème est le cinéma. We break down the collection, the details, the accessories, the anecdotes. J'avais l'impression d'être une petite enfant à qui on proposait des trucs trop cool qu'on qu ne propose pas. Hello, I'm Luke Prigent. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see the best of fashion shows from Paris. You can indulge in all my other channel videos. It's free. Leave a comment, hit the thumbs up, the notification bell, and above all, subscribe. This is Chanel Ready to Wear Spring Summer 2023 by Virginie Viard. Mood board. One surprise guest is Stromae. First time we meet the singer slash designer at Chanel. C'est assez prestigieux, je suis content, je suis assez fier, c'est une belle pièce en plus, avec la petite broche et tout. Euh, bah on a été choisir ça hier et, euh, et la veste m'allait directement, donc on s'est dit vas-y, c'est celle-là qu'il me faut. Quoi. Franz Summers is backstage getting prepped up by the Chanel Beauty Teams. Hello. 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 How are you? Good to Good. see you. Are you ready for your cinema moment? Uh, yes, definitely. I'm getting all moisturized for my moment. <laughs> what kind of cinema star you are? <laughs> I am oh, the truly star movie, you know, so... Hi, my honey. <laughs> Can you show me uh, the face of love? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you get it. <laughs> The theme today is cinema, so let's play with Fran Summers to see if she's ready for a cinema casting. Can you give me love? Love is... And then Tara. <laughs> Not the prettiest of faces, but I, I, I gave you everything. Right. Thank you, I give you my Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it later. <laughs> Show it one minute, girls, go on line up, please. Je suis là parce que j'adore Chanel, Chanel, ça reste Chanel. Je pense que c'est très portable, c'est très féminin. Je suis excitée de voir ce que Virginie va faire cette saison. Attention pour le mannequin, dans 3, 2, 1, and go. Et musique, now. Rianne Van Rompe at Virginie Viard Muse opens the show with a collage sweater full of pictures of herself and Gabrielle Chanel. She's wearing the mood board of the collection, Gabrielle Chanel and women in everyday life situations. Her muslin cape is closed by a camellia, the scentless flowers that is the icon of Chanel. How was it to open this one? It was very nice actually. I felt very chic and proud. All around, the Grand Palais Ephemer has been turned into a boîte de cinéma. We are looking at the same movie that Virginie Viard watched at the beginning of her creative process. The images are from 1961 and a film called L'année dernière à Marienbad, last year in Marienbad. The film revealed the actress Delphine Serig as a new Greta Garbo. Tellement chic, c'est beau dans l'ambiance, dans cette ambiance nuit. The film is a love story that is perplexing, dreamy, blurry, meditative and chronological, puzzling, amnesic, phantomatic, floating, sinuous, slow, somnambulistic, ambiguous, mental, labyrinthic, hypnotic, elliptic. A super chic prequel to The Shining by Stanley Kubrick. Gabrielle Chanel herself did the costumes for Delphine Serig, and you see Virginie Viard reinterpreting those dresses here, notably the idea of feathers. And remember, Virginie Viard started her career as a costume designer for cinema. La mise en scène, c'est un truc hyper important pour nous. Enfin, je dis nous, Mozart, parce que euh, on est une équipe. Et, euh, et c'est vrai que de voir que ça va jusqu'au moindre détail et tout, avec les projections, parce que ça demande quand même de la synchronicité entre tous les projecteurs et tout. Donc c'est quand même du boulot. Et c'était super beau, quoi. Et même si c'était un film, euh, enfin, des images tirées d'un film des années 60, moi, ça m'a ému, en fait. Euh, je m'attendais pas du tout à être ému à ce moment-là. Loli Baya in a minimal Chanel suit as mini dress. Eight buttons to a jacket for business. Fancy swimsuit with ruffles, worn with shorts and double belts. The chain belt, la ceinture chaîne, is designed by Gabrielle Chanel in 1956. 
The pendant was chosen by Coco as a lucky charm, like a four-leaf clover on one side and a sans-serif double C logo on the other one. The models all wear a mix of jewelry. Gabriel Chanel said to Jean Cocteau that the jewels are like the salt of the silhouette, and like salt, if you put too much, the dish will taste bad. Always an anti-bourgeois, Coco Chanel sees the jewels as an amusing trifle, une pacotille. That's why Chanel creates fantasy jewels, not severe, not pompous. Des barrettes, une petite barrette, euh, toute simple, mais c'est juste ce qu'il faut. Accessories can light up your whole look. Just one necklace will make you look very pretty. Je trouve qu'elles étaient très puissantes, euh, les filles aujourd'hui. Je trouve que les mannequins, elles portaient leurs vêtements, tu sentais qu'elles étaient bien dedans, elles prenaient le pouvoir. Polka dots for Adout Akesh. And the polka dots become flowers, sequins, paillettes on Gilles Cortlevé and Amanda Sanchez, the Chanel in-house model. Solarized on look 12, there are thousands of dots hidden in the collection, sometimes perforated in shirts underneath the jackets. The white dots were inspired to Virginie Viard by the pearl necklaces always worn by Coco Chanel. She believed pearls were perfect for candle lighting and that diamonds were perfect for electric lighting. Mono beige variations. The original Chanel Marinière, her first garment, her first success. Mise en scène, did you notice? They are walking on black sand, calculated to vacuum all the light. Never be dirty, the perfect black carpet. Ajok Deng is having her Chanel debut, and you can feel the pressure, the joy, the focus. Her shaped earrings, her tweed has yellow, green, orange, and blue sequins captive inside the weaving. Feathers are added to the tweed for movement, adding poetry to the shapes, tailoring becoming suddenly more flu. A lot of it looked like a, I don't know, even like a collage, you know? Usually I'm used to taking like a Chanel piece and then putting it with something that I have and putting it all together. And this was like, I would wear almost every outfit, like a full look. It was really fucking cool. The black and white checks are not a casual print, but actually stripes and stripes of white tulle of a black fabric, and then teardrops of white feathers. Ella Rattigan wears a metallic lipstick holder, a reference to the practical interior compartment for lipstick that Gabrielle Chanel designed in her 1950s bags. Some gold for picking your statuette at the Cannes Film Festival. Coco Chanel loved a gold lame, a rich brocade. She herself wore gold to dinners in the 1960s. Vichy Gingham, Désinvolture. C'est très serein, c'est très assumé. C'est dur de résumer en quelques mots cette collection, mais je pense que chaque personne qui a regardé, chaque femme qui a pu voir le défilé a trouvé quelque chose où elle s'est dit ça, ça a été fait pour moi. Et ça, j'ai trouvé ça magnifique. C'est Chanel Silk Pajama. You'd think she's casual, but the braid is small diamonds. The Chanel Ecolière, the school girl. She's going to the Cambon Ecole de Jeunes Filles. Her crochet breastplate punctuated by lines of tiny pearls. All you see here on Yilan Hua is the construction of the garment, the lines of stitching, of pockets. This is Chanel Design Philosophy 101 since more than a century. Gabrielle Chanel thinks ornament is only justified by construction. Like the classic Chanel shoes but in glitter. Amazing. I think the long sheer glitter dress with the feather bow on the ground, that's something that I would wear, like to crown maybe. Virginie Vial loves a slightly cropped jacket. Mahana Perry in a pleated geometric dress, belted with a cross-shaped buckle. On the black jacket, the sequins are transparent for a wet, shimmering effect. Crystal buttons and a braid made of minuscule paillettes. J'ai beaucoup aimé toutes les paillettes, tous les blancs immaculés, tous ces trucs euh, de, de l'enfance finalement. Où il y avait un espèce de mélange euh, qui me définit bien en plus. <laughs> a pastel cascade of feathers central to the jacket, a clear reference to the feathers worn by Delphine Serig in her Chanel costumes in the film l'année dernière à Marianne Bad. Mariam de Vinzel looking orchestrated. 
Crystal Studded Slingbacks. The rock and roll appetite of Virginie Viard emerges in all black silhouettes, a hint of lurex or lacy details, some sparkle or transparency. I love how Virginie uh, loved to mix the rock and roll style and then the classic elements from Chanel. So it's like uh, implementing the new elements into the classics. Fran Summers wears four panels of muslin, getting more and more transparent and revealing her legs, a quietly planned immodesty. Lola Nikon, a French muse for Virginie Viard. The Chanel Little Black Dress, a revolution of the 20th century, revisited for actresses like Kristen Stewart, who inspired the collection. The three last passages are column dresses, no frou-frou, no chichi pompon, pure Virginie Viard glamour. But it's all there, Chanel, à fond les ballons. Suddenly, Virginie Viard is ready in the backstage with Guillaume, the longtime Chanel topper. Virginie Viard waits for the last model to be out and she takes her bow. It's not something she particularly enjoys. She appears and the crowd rolls. What happened when Virginie Viard came out? She was so emotional. She just came out and everyone stood up and was like, ah, when well, she sort, of course, an ovation, but I think she ovationed the person, but also the work. Surtout. On était tous très amis, on était debout. Je m'en suis pris plein la figure, moi, sur ce défilé. Pour moi, c'est le plus beau défilé de Virginie, en fait, que j'ai vu aujourd'hui. Alors, moi, j'ai vraiment kiffé, mais vraiment. J'ai été ému, en fait, à la fin, euh, quand j'ai vu Virginie Villard euh, débarquer. Parce qu'en plus, euh, j'ai cru comprendre qu'elle n'était pas hyper à l'aise avec euh, se montrer et tout ça. Et euh, je sais pas, de voir un travail aussi minutieux, euh, jusqu'à la mise en scène, jusqu'au sable noir, au sol et tout. Euh, et bien évidemment, les tenues magnifiques, quoi. Vraiment. Mega star Jenny from Blackpink rushes backstage. She's with Caroline de Maigret. And she's greeted by Virginie Viard. Bravo Virginie! <laughs> Naomi Campbell is backstage. I can ask you what did you think of the collection? She's so beautiful. Naomi has it right. I'm trying to find Virginie. I want to kiss her. But I'm not sure where. Where did she go? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> voilà, this was my channel report for Spring Summer 2023. Do subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any channel and all the other cool fashion shows. Hit the notification bell and the thumbs up button and you can write Chanelology in the comments if you got till the end. Cheers! Moodboard! Board!